April 2017, a devastating fire hit the Patterson Building. Following the fire, a decision was made that the partnership of Cancer Research UK, Christie Hospital and the University of Manchester would work together and put up a new building in place of the old Patterson Building. The new building is over 25,000 square metres and cost almost £150 million to build. It has seven floors above ground and a sub-basement. The new building can house up to 750 staff including scientists, clinicians and clinical trial teams. The relocation of CIK Manchester Institute into these new labs required 71 7.5 tonne trucks delivering over 5,000 pieces of equipment. On level 4 of the building, there are two lab blocks that house core facilities. The core facilities provide access to cutting edge technologies that allow detailed analysis of DNA, RNA, protein and intact cell samples. The histology facility is a key central point for sample processing. Many of the samples that come from the hospital come to histology first and are prepared for distribution onto other labs for further analysis. A key aspect of the core facilities is that they are a multi-user environment. This means that all researchers on site have easy access to a broad range of cutting edge technologies. The core facility lab blocks include an advanced imaging dark room which provides the appropriate conditions for high resolution imaging of cancer cells. The new building has given the Institute the opportunity to design labs from scratch. This has allowed efficient workflows to allow the movement of samples between labs for different types of analysis. Level 3 of the new Patterson building houses the CRUK Cancer Biomarker Centre. The centre includes a dedicated GCP lab for clinical trial work. Across four floors of research space, the Patterson Building houses a mix of basic, translational and clinical research. All of this activity is housed in custom-designed laboratory spaces. Each laboratory floor incorporates artwork based on scientific images generated within the Institute. For example, on level 6, there are groups that work on tumour microenvironment and this is represented with a mural of pancreatic cancer tissue. During design of the building, large goods lifts were included within the laboratory areas to facilitate easy movement of equipment and samples between labs. These large lifts were particularly useful during the relocation as it allowed rapid delivery of thousands of pieces of equipment to the laboratory space. A link bridge has been incorporated into the design so that the Patterson Building is physically connected to the Christie Hospital. This important link will facilitate easy movement and communication between the hospital and research communities. Staff working in the building benefit from an excellent open working environment which has been designed to promote collaboration and teamwork. The new building was finished in April 2023. During May, the CIK Manchester Institute groups all moved into the building and by June all of the lab spaces were fully operational. Staff have really enjoyed moving into this new state-of-the-art building to conduct their research. 